Good day, senior high school students. Here is now your lesson number 7. But first, take a look on the maps. Where do you think you are located? The title of our lesson is Roles and Functions of the Local Government Units. And for our objectives, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify and explain the functions of the different levels of the local government, discuss how the centralization affects governance, and discuss the performance of a local government unit. In the latest record on our local autonomy, our country has 82 provinces, 147 cities, 33 are highly urbanized, 5 are independent component cities, and the rest are just component cities. 1,488 municipalities and 42,046 barangays. Let's take a look at the list of provinces in the Luzon Island. We have Abra, Albay, Apayao, Aurora, Bataan, Batanes, Batangas, Binguet, Bulacan, Cagayan, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Cavite, Ifogao. Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, Isabela, Kalinga, La Union, Laguna, Marinduque, Masbate, Mountain Province, Nueva Ecija, Nueva Vizcaya, Occidental Mindoro, Oriental Mindoro, Palawan, Pampanga, Pangasinan, Quezon, Quirino, Rizal, Romblon, Sorsogon, Tarlac, and Zambales. In the Visayas, we have Aklan, Antique, Biliran, Bohol, Capiz, Cebu, Eastern Samar, Guimaras, Iloilo, Leyte, Negros Occidental, Negros Oriental, Northern Samar, Samar, and Southern Leyte. And in Mindanao, we have Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Basilan, Bukidnon, Camigen, Cotabato, Davao de Oro, Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, Davao Occidental, Davao Oriental, Dinagat Islands, Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, Maguindanao del Norte, Maguindanao del Sur, Misamis Occidental, Misamis Oriental, Sarangani, Siquijor, South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sulu, Surigao del Norte, Surigao del Sur, Tawi-Tawi, Zamboanga del Norte, Zamboanga del Sur, and Sambuanga Sibugay. The most highly urbanized local area in our country is the Metropolitan Manila. Let's try to look at the local chief executives of every cities. In Caloocan City, Mayor Along Malapitan, Las Piñas City, Mayor Imelda Aguilar, Makati City, Mayor Abigail Binay, Malabon City, Mayor Jenny Sandoval, Mandaluyong City, Mayor Benjamin Abalo Sr., Manila City Proper, Dr. Mayor Hani Lacuna Pangan, Marikina City, Mayor Marcelino Chadoro, Montinlupa City, Mayor Rafi Biazon, Navota City, Mayor John Ray Chianco, Paranaque City, Mayor Eric Olivares, Pasay City, Mayor Imelda Calixto Robiano, Pasig City, Mayor Vico Soto, Pateros, Mayor Ike Ponce, Quezon City, Mayor Joy Belmonte Alimorong, San Juan City, Mayor Francis Zamora, Taguig City, Mayor Lani Cayetano, and Valenzuela City, Mayor Wes Gatsalian. According to Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution entitled Local Government and General Provisions in Section 1, the territorial and political subdivisions of the Republic of the Philippines are the provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays. There shall be autonomous regions in Muslim Mindanao and the Cordilleras as herein after provided. Section 2. The territorial and political subdivisions shall enjoy local autonomy. Section 3. The Congress shall enact a local government code which shall provide for a more responsive and accountable local government structure instituted through a system of decentralization with effective mechanisms of recall, initiative, and referendum allocate among the different local government units their powers, responsibilities, and resources, and provide for the qualifications, election, appointment and removal, term, 
salaries, powers and functions and duties of local officials, and all other matters relating to the organization and operation of the local units. And because it is provided in the Section 3 of the Article 10 in 1987 Constitution, in 1981, Local Government Code was enacted and known also as the Republic Act 7160. The contents of the Local Government Code are as follows. Book 1, General Provisions. Book 2, Local Taxations. Book 3, Local Government Units. And Book 4, Miscellaneous and Final Provisions. The focus of our lesson will be on Book 3, the Local Government Units. We will be talking about the Barangay, the Municipality, the City, the Province, the appointed local officials, and the leagues of local government units and elected officials. Local government units are under the control and supervision of the Department of the Interior and Local Government, as provided by the Constitution under Section 4. Take a look at the organizational chart for the flow of supervision by the executive branch through the DILG. Now let's move to Cordillera Administrative Region or CAR. The region comprises six provinces, Abra, Apayao, Binguet, Ifugao, Kalinga, and Mountain Province. The regional center is the highly urbanized city and we all know that it is the summer capital of the Philippines, which is Baguio City. And we have also the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao or BARM, composed of Lanao del Sur, Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, Maguindanao provinces, and the 63 barangays of Cotabato province. And who are elected officials of our respective local government units? What are their responsibilities? All elected officials have three-year terms, save for the Wali, which is six years, and can only serve a maximum of three consecutive terms before being ineligible for re-election. A registered voter where he or she want to be elected and able to read and write, either Filipino or any dialect. For the local chief executive, the governor, city, or municipal mayor, their functions is to exercise general supervision and control over all programs, projects, services, and activities of the government of their jurisdiction. Vice Governor, City, or Municipal Vice Mayor, and Punong Barangay. They serve as the presiding officer of the Sangguniang and signed all warrants drawn on the Treasury for all expenditures appropriated for the operation of the respective Sangguniang. And the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Panglungsod, Bayan, or Barangay, serves as the legislative body, shall enact ordinances, approve resolutions, and appropriate funds for the general welfare of their area of jurisdiction and its inhabitants. And for the Sangguniang Kabataan, promulgate resolutions necessary to carry out the objectives of the youth in the barangay in accordance with the applicable provisions of this code. And how our local government units is composed of their age requirements before being elected? Let's try to look at first with the autonomous region. The so-called Wali or the regional chief executive must be 40 years old on election day. Their chief minister and other members of the parliament must be 25 years old on election day. And for the province, the governor and vice governor, including the Sangguniang Panlalawigan members, must be 23 years old on election day, including also those on the highly urbanized cities. And the composition of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan are the president, Liga ng Barangay, the provincial level, the president, League of Councillors, provincial level, and the president, SK Federation, of the provincial level, and with sectoral representatives. And for the city, for mayor and vice mayor, must be 21 years old on election day, and the Sangguniang Panglungsod members shall be 18 years old on election day. The same way within the provincial level, on the city level, Part also, or members also of the Sangguniang Panglungsod are the Liga ng Barangay on the city level. The president also of the SK Federation on the city level together with the sectoral representatives. 
And now let's proceed to municipality. The mayor and vice mayor also must be 21 years old. And for the Sangguneng Bayan, the same with the Sangguneng Panglungsod on the city proper is 18 years old on election day. So the same way with the city and provincial on the municipal level, there is also included in the Sangguneng the president Liga ng mga barangay on municipal level and the president also of the SK Federation on municipal level together with sectoral representatives. And on the political unit, the smallest political unit of the local government units is the barangay. Their heads is the punong barangay or as we all know, as the barangay chairman or barangay captain, only 18 years old on election day. And its members also elected at large. On the SK, Sangguniang Kabataan, their chairman up to the seven members of the Sangguniang Kabataan must be 15 to 21 years old on election day. And on the provisions for cases of vacancies and successions, under Section 4, permanent vacancies in the offices of the Governor, Vice Governor, Mayor, and Vice Mayor. For Governor, automatically, the Vice Governor will replace him in capacity. And the Vice Governor, the next highest ranking Sangguneyan member. So therefore, the same with the City Mayor or Municipal Mayor, the subsequent vacancies in the said offices shall be filled automatically by the other Sangguneyan members according to their ranking as defined herein. And for the appointive officials of the LGU that will render the basic services of the local officials to their constituents are Secretary of the Sangguneyan, the Treasurer, Assistant Treasurer, the Assessor, Assistant Assessor, the Accountant, the Budget Officer, the Planning and Development Coordinator, the Engineer, the health officer, the civil registrar, the administrator, the legal officer, the agriculturist, the social welfare and development officer, the environment and natural resources officer, the architect, the information officer, the cooperatives officer, the population officer, the veteranian, and the general services officer. Some appointment positions are optional depending on the income per unit as provided in the DLGU code. Leagues of local government unit and elected officials, League ng mga barangay, League of municipalities, League of cities, League of provinces, Leagues and federations of local elected officials. Every league shall be represented by the local executive or in his or her absence by the next in rank. Example, vice governor if in the province level or sangguneng member duly elected for the purpose by the members who shall attend all meetings and participate in the deliberations of the league. See you in our next lesson. Stay safe, everyone.